Yo, yo, YouTube, what's up with your boy, Sports and Fitness Rants, I'm back, guys, click that like button, subscribe to my channel, what's up, y'all, welcome back, guys, welcome back, man, got another great video for you guys today, as usual, man, you guys know the deal on this channel, it's all about setting the record straight, stopping the lies, stopping the narratives, stopping them from rewriting history, guys, and in this video, I want to talk briefly, just a brief video about LeBron James, now, he's not even a top three dunker at his position, and, you know, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because, I did a post the other day about something with LeBron James and so about the slam dunk contest, right? I did that post of Michael Jordan sitting on the rim, right, with the slam dunk championship trophy in his hands, and I said that LeBron James was too afraid to do that, right? And it's pretty obvious. LeBron James was afraid to do a slam dunk contest, man. He was a coward. And someone asked or posted or comment in there, why would LeBron James, like, why should he do the slam dunk contest? Essentially, like, why was it a big deal for him to not do it? And I responded to this person, well, it's a big deal that he didn't do it because to this day, he promotes himself as one of the great dunkers in NBA's history. It don't make any sense, man. And we're going to talk about breathing this video because to me, he's not even a top three dunker at his position, let alone one of the greatest dunkers of all time. It's insane for someone who refused to do a slam dunk contest to put himself in that conversation. And I want to thank you guys, everyone across the world, everyone across the states has been supporting my channel. Once again, guys, I am truly, truly humbled, man. Shout out to everybody out there, everybody in the membership, man. Uh, shout out to Rick James for coming through with the super thanks. Uh, much respect to Rick James, man. Like I said, been a supporter of my channel for a while now. Uh, so much respect to Rick James coming through with the super thanks. Thank you, man. And you guys know what to do. Turn the volume all the way up. Hit that play button. Remember, these videos are for educational purposes. And let's roll. So, yes, guys, like I said, man, I just want to do a brief video on LeBron James and the dunking of LeBron James, right? His dunking prowess, right? And this idea that LeBron James is one of the top five or you know, top 10 greatest dunkers in NBA's history, I do not believe he's in that conversation, especially a top three, top five dunkers of all time. I do not be believe LeBron James is anywhere near that list. But in the, in the past, LeBron James has put himself on that level. He's put himself as a top five dunker in NBA's history or one of the top dunkers in NBA's history. And I do not believe that LeBron James is one of the top dunkers in NBA's history. Now, there are different kinds of dunkers. There are in-game dunkers. There are slam dunk contest dunkers. And there are both guys who did the slam dunk contest and they were legit. And guys who are legit in the slam dunk contest and legit in-game dunkers. And there are some guys that are not maybe didn't have great dunk contests, but they were really good in-game dunkers. And there are some guys, once again, that may be good in the dunk contest, but not really spectacular or great in-game dunkers. All right, so that's one thing we have to think of off the jump. But we also have to think of what the creativity of your dunking ability, right? What kind of dunks you can do in-game. I'm talking about in the games, man. And then in the, the slam dunk contest, what kind of creativity did you have during the slam dunk contest, right? And these are usually the ways that we will determine the great in-game dunkers. Once again, the video footage shows us but it has to also be a variety of different kinds of ways that you're dunking the ball on different kinds of players in different ways. And to me, LeBron James dunks are basic, boring, and they're bland. He does the same tomahawk dunk year after year after year. He's doing the Carl Malone. He literally stole Carl Malone's dunk, right? The mailman dunk. He's been doing that every once in a while. He'll try to imitate Kobe Bryant's dunk. They don't look good. It's not aesthetically pleasing at all. Or he'll do a two-handed dunk. But really, no creativity from LeBron James. And that's part of the problem for LeBron is why he did not do the slam dunk contest. Because of his lack of creativity and originality. He's not original. He wears Michael Jordan's number. Or he's wearing Bill Russell's number. Or Dr. J's number. He does a chalk toss like Michael Jordan. Right? He does a lot of things copying a Michael Jordan. We get all of this, right? And that's part of the problem because Michael Jordan... Right? He never rehearsed his dunks or practiced his dunks beforehand. He let the creativity take over in the moment. That's what he always talked about. But when this person says, oh, why does LeBron James have to do a slam dunk contest? Or oh, what does he have to be afraid of? Or blah, blah, blah. Well, obviously, LeBron James is afraid of going out there and failing. He's afraid of the failure, LeBron James. Michael Jones wasn't afraid to fail. And that's why he did the, the 1993 point contest. He wasn't afraid to fail. Right? But LeBron James had done two skills challenges but never did a slam dunk contest, not even one slam dunk contest, but he did two skills challenges. Once again, that shows and exposes you as being a scared, frozen, and someone who's not creative or have any originality. And LeBron James was just scared, flat out scared, man. But I said to this person, for LeBron James to refuse to do a slam dunk contest, to avoid it, and then promote himself as one of the great dunkers in NBA's history, it's hypocrisy at its finest, guys. And this is part of the problem for LeBron James. He always puts himself in these conversations when he doesn't belong there. And he hasn't done anything to put himself there. 
Right, so once again, it ain't like LeBron James went out there and won a slam dunk contest or even competed in a couple of them, never did them. And I'm not saying you have to win a slam dunk contest to be a great dunker, but when you combine that with the fact that LeBron James' in-game dunks are whack, they're basic, and he plays in this weak era, this exposes him as being one of the great dunkers. Now, at his position, I told you, he to me, he's not even a top three dunk at his position. Not even. So, I mean, I would easily put Dr. J, obviously, as a greater dunker than LeBron James. I would definitely put him on that list <clears throat> as a greater dunker. I don't even think it's close. Dr. J, one of the greatest dunkers of all time, probably a top three, top five dunker in the history of the game. And he's probably the greatest dunking small forward in the game. Like I said, you can argue him, but <clears throat> Dr. J is clearly more creative and more aesthetically pleasing to watch fly through the air than LeBron James. So that's just one guy off the jump. <clears throat> but, if, you know, Dominique Wilkins is LeBron James a greater in-game dunker than Dominique Wilkins? Hell no. So for me, Dominic Wilkins and Dr. J are probably the two greatest dunking small forwards. And as far as in-game dunking goes, those are the guys. <clears throat> but is anyone going to argue LeBron James a greater dunker than those two guys? No. And that's at his position. He's nowhere near Dr. J. And he's nowhere near Dominic Wilkins. As far as in-game dunking, the creativity, right? The guys he was going against, these guys playing an era with legit big men. LeBron James out here dunking on six foot three guys, six foot five guys. Dr. J was going in there with the big guys. Dominic Wilkins going in with the big guys. And I would even put Scottie Pippen ahead of LeBron James in game dunking. Give me Scottie Pippen all day over LeBron James. Scottie Pippen had the ability to extend, he had those long arms, and he finished on guys, legit centers, legit big men. Scottie Pippen finished on those guys. So for me, Thick. Those are clearly three guys that are greater dunkers than LeBron James. Just on the top of my head at the small vote position. I didn't mention uh, Connie Hawkins. So, I mean, listen, guys. LeBron James dunks the ball a lot, but he don't have creative dunks. You know what I'm saying? The difference between dunking the ball a lot in your career and being creative and being one of the great in-game dunkers. Once again, playing in this weak, soft era, not dealing with the resistance that a lot of these other guys had to deal with. And once again, those guys weren't afraid to go out there and compete in a slam dunk contest where LeBron James, scared all these years, scared, but they will promote himself as one of the great dunkers of all time. It's complete hypocrisy, guys. I'm not putting LeBron James in a top five, top ten, or greatest dunkers in NBA's history, guys. I mentioned those guys, Pippen, Wilkins, Dr. J, obviously Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, Sean Kemp, Vince Carter, Tracy McGrady. I mean, Clyde Drexler to me was a better, a greater in-game dunker than LeBron James. Jason Richardson. I mean, some of these guys, they're just greater in-game dunkers. They're just greater dunkers than LeBron easily than LeBron James. I'll even go Derrick Rose a greater in-game dunker than LeBron James at a much shorter height. John Morant is a greater in-game dunker than LeBron James, and this is error. LeBron James ain't one of them dudes, man. His, his dunks are boring and basic. And once again, he was too scared to even go out there and even attempt to try to win a slam dunk contest. Never once, but he had energy to do two skills challenges. That's what exposes him. It wasn't like he didn't do anything. He did two skills challenges that he didn't win, but he didn't do a slam dunk contest. But then promotes himself and will call himself one of the great dunkers. He'll put himself on a list. I've done videos on this in the past where LeBron James has put himself in a top five dunkers of all time list. It's an absolute joke, guys, for LeBron James to put himself on that list. Embarrassing. Not even a top three at his position. You guys know the deal, man. These are the facts. I'll catch you guys on the next one.